Hey everybody, Weem here. I'm going to show off a couple of uh, the new features we worked on this weekend for the robot. So let me get him out here real quick. Summon him out here. Let me just jump right into the, the first one, the big one, the thing we've had requested a lot, and that's the ability to ride along with your robot, essentially use him as transportation. So we worked on that this weekend and got that implemented, and essentially you just interact with the robot, which we use the E key in this case. So I'm going to step over to him, hit E, and you'll see I'm now riding along with him. Now, as we get further along, and especially by the time we get to beta, uh, riding along in this mode will actually use more of the battery. They'll use the battery at a quicker rate, essentially, while you're in this mode. So that'll be something to take into consideration while you're doing that. Um, but that's kind of the big, the big feature. We had a lot of requests for this. Um, as you notice, you do go much faster. You jump a lot higher when you're in this mode, and uh, we think that's going to be one of the uh, one of the big things. I think a lot of people are going to be running around, riding along in the robot for the most part. It's just a lot quicker, but there are definitely going to be cases where you'll you know hop out. You're going to want to give him different commands. You want him to be aggressive doing things while you're doing something else. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to see how much uh, people use it and in what ways. So while I'm talking about transportation, let me show you the new propeller attachment. I'm just going to drag that over here. And uh, you'll see now if I jump in to ride around, I can now hold the space bar. And instead of jumping, what he'll do is he will fly. So I'm going to hold this, and you'll see you ascend. Basically, you continue to hold it, you'll continue to ascend. You let go of it, and you drop back to the ground. Now the cool thing is you let go of it, and the robot goes into a falling state, in which case he uses the propeller. And in that situation, when you have the propeller, the long falls, where you normally take fall damage, right now, at least in the testing, we're not taking any damage, but likely when the game is out, you'll, just, you'll take either no damage or a significantly reduced amount of damage. So we're still kind of testing that out, but that's kind of cool. That's going to be really good when you're dropping down into these kind of the dungeons below, these different levels underground. You know, you may want to jump in your robot and before you plunge off into the darkness and, uh, you know, discover suddenly what's down there. And uh, <laughs> that might just be falling damage that equals uh, everything you've got. So in this way, you'll kind of be able to drop in into these places a little bit safer. So let's see, let me hop out here. Um, we have accessories, and we created some new accessories this weekend, primarily for testing. It was a lot of fun. We were talking to you guys, got some ideas. So we have some shutter shades, we got the, the firefighter's hat and a disguise. So let me just throw the disguise on real quick. You see the robot's got nothing going on right now. And I drop that in, and there you go. He's got the disguise on the nose and glasses and mustache. Of course I can drag the helmet on now. We do have two slots that visually they look like they're inactive but um, they're actually active here in the test mode so don't be thrown off but I'm gonna go ahead and drag the uh, firefighter hat there and you'll see he's wearing that now with the disguise. So we're gonna have all kinds of different accessories. We're gonna be adding them all the time, stuff for fun and uh, we're excited about that. It wasn't something we initially planned on putting in the game but there was a lot of requests for that as well. Um, it became pretty apparent to us that people wanted to put these accessories on. They wanted hats and glasses and things like that. Things to really kind of customize their robot, which which will be really fun in a co-op environment when you're playing with other people in their robots. Kind of show off what you've got and what you've found and what you've made. So that's kind of where that's at. You'll see the battery's running a bit low here. I'm going to put them away while I explain some charging stuff. Essentially the robot has these two modes. Right now he's in an active mode where he's out in the world. If I hit the R key, uh, that's the key that you use to summon and dismiss him. So I'll hit the R key and he'll disappear. And you'll notice his charge rate increases. In fact, it naturally just goes down 1% um, every so often. Um, and what that equates to right now is that he can be active for five minutes before the power drains to zero and he goes into his inactive state. And in the inactive state, he recharges in one minute. And essentially we have that set to the, the recharge rate essentially equals 20% of whatever the actual active lifespan is. So what 
what that kind of gets at here is we start getting into these batteries, these extra kind of attachments you'll be able to put on to kind of tweak how the recharge works. So you'll see he's just about fully recharged right now. I'm just going to go ahead and pull him out here. There he is, 100%. Now you can pull him out at, at any time, at least right now in testing. Uh, because of some of the testing we're doing, we have a feeling that we may need to change that. We may need to make you wait until he's recharged past a certain point potentially even all the way back up to 100%. But again, the wait isn't that long. Right now, that's one minute to fully charge from zero. And in this case, when you have these batteries, uh, for example, we call it this the green battery. It's green, of course. This actually increases the recharge rate. So right now, where I say it takes one minute for him to recharge while he's away, with this battery, it decreases that by half, so it only takes 30 seconds. Um, so that's that'll be one of those kind of strategic decisions you make, particularly if you only have one slot and you had two batteries. You kind of decide which one you want to put in there. Uh, the other battery, the blue battery, actually increases his active lifespan. So as I said, that active lifespan is five minutes, but with the blue battery, it adds on two and a half more minutes so that now you have seven and a half minutes and you'll see that reflected in the battery uh, life here so we're closing in on the low 70s now if I add the blue battery it essentially is going to add more capacity so you're going to see this number drop you don't really lose power it's just reflecting the fact that you have that much more room to fill it to full so if I put this in, we're at 69%, I drop it in, now it says 46. So again, we didn't lose power, we just added a whole bunch more capacity. So that's how that works. And again, you can imagine if you had multiple slots, you could put in multiple batteries and it would help you in both states, in the inactive and the active state. So there's some really cool stuff you can do there. Um, let's see, I'm going to show you one more aspect here, and that's some combat stuff. And let's see I have a feeling uh, let's see I'm bring this out let's put the blade on him so right now your robot when he attacks uh, he needs no weapon he he does a certain amount of damage no matter what without a weapon so in adding a weapon not only will it visually add a weapon when he attacks but essentially what it does is it increases his damage output so what I'm gonna actually first show you though is I'm gonna put him in the passive mode and uh, we're going to bring out some uh, snails here. Why not, right? Spawn snail. Let's just do one. So what I want to show you before I summon the snail is that the robot does not have hit points. Instead, when he takes hits, it comes right out of his battery life. And uh, we kind of thought that was a more, uh, a better way of handling it you know he's got this recharge rate uh, we did have a problem at least initially deciding how that would work how to how is it that when your robot gets hit he loses battery life and Forrest kind of came up with the answer to that pretty quick he said well what if he had a force shield that kind of came out and you could visually see it so that's what we did and and I'm going to show you that right now we'll go ahead and summon this, this snail and I have him set to passive so he's going to uh, get hit and not attack, and I'm actually going to make him stay here. So he's going to stay here and get hit for our amusement, so we can watch his shield. You'll see the kind of outline. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. So, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> while trying to show you the shield, I neglected to uh, think about his life being so low, or essentially his battery being really low. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let me get him back out here, and uh, let's in, let's see. Let's take this out. Put in the recharge. Put him away. So right now, uh, he actually takes a pretty big hit, which is what I forgot. When he gets hit, he loses a lot of power. I think it's twenty uh, percent somewhere in there. So that's definitely going to be adjusted in testing, but um, that's that's currently what it's at. So let me get him back out here. Let's try this again. So he's, I've got him staying. You can see the red, and I've got him in passive, so he won't hit and knock back the snail. So he should should see the shield here. There you go, and he'll he should die. There he goes. So there, that's that's basically what I wanted to show you with that. Failed the first time, but hey, second time is the charm, at least in this case. 
So let's see, I showed you writing, I showed you flying, I explained the falling and uh, taking less or no damage on the fall. I showed you uh, his shield when he takes damage. Um, what I didn't get to show you, and let me get him out here real quick, is how the blade, now the blade placement on him is really, um, it's kind of mixed up right now, it's moved a little high up on its head, so it looks a little goofy, but let me let him go to defensive mode here, and uh, you'll see the blade spinning as he attacks. There it goes. Just kind of spins around in this case. Uh, he's got a gold blade. And you'll be able to create, um, we have blades in of all different metals right now, but you'll also have other weapons. You'll have different kinds of melee weapons. You'll be able to give him an axe or a hammer, a sword, and you will even be able to equip ranged weapons. So that's pretty cool, pretty exciting. You'll get to kind of set them up how you want them and uh, go from there. So I hope that kind of shows you everything, uh, at least everything we have so far. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or head over to our forums where I put up the post, Know Your Robot. You can ask questions there and I can give you a more detailed answer. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe, that really helps. Um, check out more videos on my channel here and uh, we'll see you later.